subscribe button. In this video, we will see the difference between loop, while, and for each controller in JMeter. Uh, so I have created simple script, basically the dummy samplers and the octopus of uh, uh, JPEG store website. Uh, so I created a loop controller and a while loop while loop controller and uh, 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 for each controller. So the difference between uh, the three thread group are uh, the first loop con well, controller first loop controller. Uh, the loop will be controlled only by the integer value and uh, no conditions are applied on the loop controller. Uh, and no conditions are applied on the loop controller. Just we mention the count of a uh, how many times it has to iterate. We we'll just mention the count. And when it comes to while thread group, when it comes to while uh, controller, sorry, there is no thread group with while. Just I named it a while thread group. Uh, uh, while when you come to while controller, just this con this while controller will work based on the condition uh, you specify. Okay, so the handling this condition will be in your hands. So you need to uh, build on your response or build on your bin shell or JSR two to three samplers. You define a value based on that value. A uh, while loop will work. Uh, on for each, for each will work. For each will work on basis of uh, uh, size of your captured value. Uh, like you, you captured the value using a regular expression or JSON, CSS, or any any uh, extractor. If you capture the value and the value contains some list like one to uh, n number, if it if it have any values, then uh, you can pass the variable in a for each and you can iterate the value. Uh, uh, using that uh, uh, for each. So, like, let's like say if you have an API call to get any users, and you get you got all number of users from your previous call, and you want to get the details of each request for uh, your API, then we we'll, uh, we'll use for each controller to send your var uh, variable here. Uh, this is a, this is the actual all values which will hold the list of variables and the list of values which will capture from previous expression. And this is the value which you are assigning a one index. This is the one value which you are assigning to current, I mean, the, uh, from the list, you are assigning to the current index and you're using this value. And uh, this is a while condition we'll use based on the condition of your sample list under the while. So this is a while controller and there's no while sampler. You can have multiple transactions or multiple requests under the while. Uh, based on the request and so based on the response or the correlation values which you define will make the while condition to uh, go for next iteration or not. And the loop uh, will have a fixed number of iterations. You cannot change during it runtime. And uh, if, you, if you want to change your conditions, I mean, if you want to stop your uh, iteration based on dynamically without uh, fixed value, then we can use the while controller and if you want to run your for each loop uh, if you want to go for for each then you should have a list of values and uh, which we can use of which we can use it in our next sampler in your for each so you can use for for each so uh, there's a basic uh, differences between the loop uh, while loop and uh, i mean loop loop controller while loop controller and uh, for each controller also, uh, thanks for listening to friends.